Uh, a lot of people have been getting in touch asking, what does coronavirus mean for my rights at work? So uh, here's a bit of guidance on the things uh, I've been getting most questions about. So firstly, travel to work. The first thing to know is your employer should be doing everything they can to support you working from home, taking every possible step to make that uh, happen. But uh, there are lots of people who can't work from home because of the nature of their work. So if the only means of getting to work is to travel to work, then you're allowed uh, to travel. So some people have said, well, is my work essential or not? The way it's worked is the government has made regulations requiring certain um, businesses and organisations to close. And if you're not in that category, if you're still work, if you're still open for business, then if it's essential for you to travel to work, you're entitled to do that. Um, if you're key workers and you've got kids, uh, you have additional rights to make sure that your children can access care during, uh, during the working day. Uh, so if you get to work, your employer in the workplace should be doing everything possible to make sure that you as an employee are able, uh, wherever it's possible, uh, to uh, follow these social distancing rules. So taking every step they can to make sure that you work uh, two metres apart from other people, that you have access to being able to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds at regular interv intervals and the other public health Wales guidance. Your employer should be doing everything they can to make sure that you as an employee are in that position. Uh, if you get symptoms of coronavirus at work, your employer should be sending you home immediately. If you're self-isolating or if you're household isolating where somebody else in the household has symptoms and you're uh, advised to stay at home, you're now entitled to claim statutory sick pay from day one. There isn't that initial delay before you can claim it. You can claim it from day one. If you're at work and you're entitled to leave and you can't take your leave because um, because of coronavirus, then you can roll over that leave entitlement for into the next two years. Um, the last thing to say is there's a scheme which is meant to protect jobs during coronavirus called the furlough scheme and employers uh, where workers dropped off are able to keep employees on the payroll, on the books, uh, but not require them to work. Uh, and that's called putting employees on furlough. Uh, and during a period that you're on furlough, you still keep all your employment rights and you get paid 80% uh, of your salary. Um, but if you're in a situation where your employer could have applied for the furlough and doesn't, and you're made redundant, you'll have um, statutory rights in that protection, so you should speak to your trade union. Uh, and those furlough rights are available not only to full-time employees, but also to part-time employees uh, and also agency employees uh, and employees on a zero hours contract. So this is just some general guidance. Obviously, you should speak to your trade union if you want more specific advice about your particular uh, situation. But if you've got any other queries uh, that I can help with, there are some uh, links in this post which might be helpful. Uh, or call my office on 01792869993 or email me on jeremy.milesassembly.wales. I'm able to work remotely, as are my team. Lots of people aren't in that position. Uh, and we're carrying on giving advice and signposting and giving constituents guidance through this incredibly difficult time.